more people of YouTube. Okay, so back again, tinkering as you do, and uh, what I've got here is a Raspberry Pi 2 a version B. I've got HDMI connected here to my little TV. I've got keyboard, mouse, and a new joystick I've just picked up. It's this joystick. I've got here, I'll just quickly show you. The thing is, these are two separate buttons as well, so I guess you could have that jump and shoot, or you could just have it jump, shoot, because some N64 games you have to push up to jump. So I guess you could have that as jump. Uh, start, select if you like, if you wanted to get a bit uh, technical. Or just use the one button like the original was meant. So I picked up this, yep. Picked up the Pi and uh, I've installed a program on it called RetroPie. Because people who know me will know that the Commodore 64, what I had in my last video, I um, stupidly plugged in the power supply in the wrong socket and it doesn't work anymore. So my idea was to either fit this inside the Commodore 64 and actually use the Commodore keyboard instead of using this one to play the game so it would be virtually like a Commodore 64 and then I can connect it up because this even though it's HDMI you can have composite out so you can I want to try and connect it to the 1702 Commodore monitor as well so that will be the next stage but at the moment I'm just testing out the software so I'll just show you how far I got. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the Pi is booting up now. It doesn't take long to load. It's all via the uh, micro SD card, which is in the front here. Just tucked away, you can't see it, but it's just down the front there. It's running um, a program called RetroPi. As you can see, nice little front end. This is the beta version. I'm running here. It's a bit annoying because you get that little thing in the corner there. I don't, don't know what it is. It seems to stay there sometimes. Okay, so we're on now. Loaded in. Just quickly select. Uh, I mean, picture color it's, it's not too bad, really. Get this thing to focus. Yeah. Yeah, so that's Amstrad. I'll just quickly cut to a couple of others. As you can see, so one button is space bar, and then the other button this is quite neat, really. Yeah, well, I won't show you anymore, but yeah.
yeah so as you can see it's not a little bad piece of emulation kit really so I'll leave it there and um, when I've got a couple more emulators going and when I set it up in the in the inside the actual Commodore 64 shell there's another little piece of kit which is I'm waiting to turn up to enable the keyboard to work in the uh, Commodore 64 so when it all arrives I'll put up another video then so thanks for watching